Abarth Simca 1300196165. The Abarth Simca 1300 was the first product of Carlo Abarth's collaboration with Simca. Rumors surfaced for the first time as early as 1961 that Abarth was working with Anritha Dor Pigotti's automobile plant. The connection between the two companies was brokered by the Vienna born Austrian engineer Rudolf Riska. Riska had worked with Corolla Abarth at Sicilia in 1949 and was a technical advisor at Simca in the early 1960s. Abarth for the Simca 1000. This vehicle, which was presented in 1961, was already a sales success in France and Italy in 1962. Pigotti also hoped that the collaboration with Abarth would be able to establish the Simca brand in motorsport. The Abarth Simca 1300 was based on the base plate of the Simca 1000. The base plate, the transmission, the axles and the steering were taken over. The body was a new design, followed the coups such as the Fiat Abarth 850 and the Fiat Abarth 1000 in terms of shape and lines, and was adapted to the base plate of the Simca. The further developed design came from Abarth chief engineer Mario Colucci. The Carrari Abarth appeared formally as the coach builder, in fact Carlo Abarth and Colucci outsourced this work to small, local companies, from 1963 onwards entirely to the Carrari Asai Bonabisno, before that to Bacris, both from Turin. The engine was also completely redesigned. The 1.3-liter dock rear engine made up to 101 kilowatts. 138 horsepower, and had two Weber 45 Co twin carburetors. The car also had dry sump lubrication with two oil pumps and a radiator in the front. The road version of the GT reached a top speed of 230 km h and cost 3.3 million lira in 1962. The Bielbero racing version was 20 km h faster, but was rarely used. Gianni Balzarini 1962 won the hill climb on the Montana de la Lore in France and Lucien Bianchi won in the same year in the Trophe d'Averne, a circuit race in Clermont Ferrand in its racing class. Jean Gachet celebrated another victory at the Copa d'Autano in Monza, where he won the GT class. At the Le Mans 24 hour race in 1962, Balzarini shared a 1300 with the Austrian Franz Albert. The race ended after 30 laps due to a gearbox failure. Nine laps before that, the second works 1300 by Albero, which the former French ski star Henri Aurelier shared with Tommy Spychiger, retired with the same defect. Hans Hermann, who came to Abarth in 1963 and won the class at the three-hour race in Daytona and the 12-hour race in Sebring, among other things, also celebrated success with the car. At Sebring he shared the cockpit with Spychiger and the Belgian Ander Pilette. 